Hi, my name is Carl and this is my channel Gadgets and Tech. Today I will show you how to make freckles pop in Photoshop and go from this to this. When you choose a model, the most important aspect is that you and the model create a good team and that you can create beautiful photos together. And another important aspect is also obviously the actual appearance or the uh, characteristic characteristics um, like uh, complexions and facial features and uh, basically the look that the model has a personal and unique look that you want to capture. This is Sophie, a very professional model that I really like to work with and I have hired her for many different assignments. This specific photo is in natural light on a cloudy day. Sophie is lying on a jetty, so the light is mainly from uh, above. So this gives a ultra soft lighting and ultra soft contrast. Sophie has beautiful freckles and this soft light is not bringing them justice. So I will show you a super fast and super simple way on how you can accentuate freckles and really make them pop. All right, here we are in Photoshop. First, let's just make this image 8-bit RGB. That will make my screen recording slightly snappier and more responsive. Otherwise, it's always a good idea to work in 16-bit colors. Make a black and white adjustment layer. Select Blending Mode Luminosity. And the colors that will enhance the freckles the most are of course red and yellow. I will illustrate this by making the effect a bit uh, excessive so you really can see what happens. But in order to make it look more natural I will eventually use just a slight enhancement. I believe this looks good. Alright, now this filter turned out to look good for the whole photo. My idea was to show you how to use a mask to only enhance certain areas of the photo, but I will show you anyway. Select the mask for your black and white adjustment layer. When the mask is totally white, you will see this adjustment all over the photo because uh, the white color in the mask is revealing the effect. So invert the mask by pressing Command I and once the mask is totally black, you will see no effect at all because the black color is concealing the effect. Then select the brush with white color. Also adjust the opacity. You can now paint the effect on the areas where you want them. Let's say you want more prominent freckles on and around the nose. Then just paint the layer mask with white here. I apologize if it's a bit confusing with the double circles around my brush, but uh, it's because Photoshop has one brush and then my screen recording program also has a circle when I press my pen. If you accidentally would remove too much of the mask, just paint it back with black color. Swap brush colors by pressing X. In this specific photo I found that the adjustment made the whole photo better, so I will just uh, delete the mask. You can um, hide it if you want, but uh, I just delete it and you can easily create a new mask if you want to. You can also fine tune this effect by changing the opacity on the adjustment layer by pressing numbers 1 to 0. If you want to do this on many photos, you can also save your adjustments or even make an action. Yeah, making an action would actually make more sense in this specific case and I would generally say in most cases. Alright, so that's basically how you do it. How you go from this to this. Alright, let me know in the comments if you have any questions regarding this and if you like content like this, don't forget to subscribe. From Sweden with love, thanks for watching.